Hi, and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I'm recreating the bonuts that I ate at Biscuit Love in Nashville, Tennessee. So this was a combination of a biscuit and a donut. It's deep fried and it's covered in lemon mascarpone cream and sitting on top of blueberry compote. If you watched my Tennessee trip recap, which I'll link in the description box below, I raved about these biscuit donuts from Biscuit Love, which is um, like a fast casual restaurant chain in Nashville, Tennessee. They were absolutely incredible. They're these little balls of fried biscuit dough rolled in sugar, and then they were topped with a very light, sweet lemon mascarpone cream, and then they were in a big bowl of blueberry compote, which was like this sweet, syrupy blueberry sauce. They were out of this world. So I'm gonna recreate them today in my kitchen. I'm gonna start by making the lemon mascarpone cream. So if you've never heard of mascarpone cheese, I'm kind of saying it right. It's really mascarpone if I was Giada Di Laurentiis, but it's mascarpone if you're me. <laughs> but it's basically like an Italian cream cheese so it has the same consistency, like the same texture as American cream cheese, but it's not as tangy. It has more of like a straight up butter flavor. It is so, so good. This is what you would find in Italian tiramisu that makes it really creamy and rich. So we're going to combine this, which I brought to room temperature, with some sweetened whipped cream. And then, what did I buy today? It's called lemon curd. So I was thinking, should I use fresh lemon? I was gonna use like a little bit of fresh lemon juice and lemon zest. But the lemon mascarpone at Biscuit Love wasn't super tangy. It had a really mild lemon flavor. And then it dawned on me last night when I was coming up with my grocery list that I should buy some lemon curd. So this is a pre-made mixture. It's lots of egg yolks and sugar. So it's nice and sweet and rich. There's butter in here and then lots of fresh lemon. So it's gonna add this nice, creamy, rich, sweet, lemony texture, but it won't be too overpowering if I just use straight up fresh lemons. Now today, I'm just taking it from the store. I'm not gonna make my own lemon curd, but you totally can do that too. And maybe that'll be an experiment that I can try in the future. I'm gonna combine this eight ounce container of mascarpone cheese, which I brought to room temperature. You can see it's super soft and very easy to work with. And that is absolutely essential so that it incorporates into our lemon curd and our whipped cream. So to the mascarpone cheese, I'm gonna add half a cup of my lemon curd. I tasted it earlier, it is so, so good. You could use this in all different kinds of desserts, like put it into a little tart shell, top it with some fresh berries and whipped cream. It would be absolutely delicious this summer. Okay, so now I have a little rubber spatula here and I'm just going to incorporate the cheese and the curd. And you can see how easily they're coming together. If I hadn't brought the cheese to room temperature, this would not be happening. <laughs> nice and creamy. In this mixing bowl, I'm going to combine a half a cup of cold, heavy whipping cream with two tablespoons of powdered sugar. I personally like to sweeten my whipped cream with powdered sugar instead of granulated sugar. I just think it combines more easily. And I'm just gonna whip this with my electric hand mixer until it turns into whipped cream. So the final step for my lemon mascarpone cream is just incorporate the whipped cream into the lemon and mascarpone cheese mixture. So I'm going to continue using my rubber spatula here and just carefully fold the whipped cream into the mixture. And this will lighten it up and sweeten it up. So when you're folding, you just take your rubber spatula and you kind of slice down and then lift up and over. So slice down and then lift up and over because you don't want to deflate the whipped cream. You want to keep it nice and light and airy. I'm just trying to scrape the edges a little bit. There we go. I'm going to give this a quick taste just to see what it's like. It's really, really good. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Wow, it's really creamy and rich from the cheese. I'm so glad I chose the lemon curd because it's not too, too tangy. It just has that nice kind of subtle lemon flavor in the background, a little bit sweet, a little bit tart and tangy, and then the whipped cream just kind of makes it super fluffy. This is awesome. Okay, so far so good. One out of three components is spot on. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge so all the flavors kind of meld together, it stays nice and chilled, and then we're gonna move on to our blueberry compote. 
For my blueberry compote, I'm adapting a recipe from Ellie Krieger that I really love. She used to have a show on Food Network called Healthy Appetite, which is one of my favorites, and I found her blueberry compote recipe online, so I'm tweaking it a little bit, but I'm using her technique, so I think it's gonna be the perfect texture. So I have two cups, or about a pint, of fresh blueberries here that I kinda of picked through to make sure all the stems were removed, and I washed and dried them. So I'm only gonna add half of these to start to my small saucepan over here on the stove. So I'll add those in. And then to this, I'm adding two tablespoons of granulated sugar. You can always add more or less, depending on how sweet your berries are. Mine are pretty sweet though, so I don't wanna to add too, too much. And then I'm gonna add the juice of half of a lemon. Now this is quite a large lemon. It should be about a tablespoon. Let's see, I might not add all of it, but I'm just holding my hand underneath to catch any seeds that might fall out. And then lastly, I'm gonna get two tablespoons of water and add that too. And then I'm turning on the heat to medium. And this is going to simmer for about 10 minutes. And then we'll add in the other half of our blueberries and cook it for another 10 minutes so it gets nice and thick and kind of syrupy. It's gonna be really, really tasty. My blueberries have been simmering for about 10 minutes. So now I'm gonna add the second half of the berries into the compote. So you can see there's this nice, thick syrup. And then these fresh berries are gonna add a little bit of texture to our sauce. This will cook for probably another five to eight minutes or so, still over about medium low to medium heat, just until those fresh berries we added just start to burst. So I'm just taking a little help from my grocery store and I have a can of buttermilk biscuits. Now you definitely wanna get the buttermilk versus the like flaky layer biscuits because this is gonna have that ideal texture for you. So you just peel off the label. Um, I don't know if you've ever done this before slightly startling sometimes, but you just press a spoon along the edge. There we go. And it pops open. So after a little bit of trial and error, I decided that my best bet is gonna be to take my kitchen scissors and quarter my buttermilk biscuits. So I'm gonna start to do that right now. They're gonna end up being a little bit smaller than the bow nuts were at Biscuit Love, but I'm just, I'm struggling to get these to cook evenly and I think making them a little bit smaller is gonna help me out. I have my vegetable oil preheating behind me in my Dutch oven. I used about a quart of vegetable oil plus like another half of another quart, so like a bottle and a half. I have my candy thermometer in there to see when my temperature has reached 350 degrees. I tried cooking these closer to 375 and what was happening is that they were getting really dark on the outside and remaining raw on the inside, which is of course not what we're looking for. So I'm making a few tweaks and hopefully we'll have some really good looking bonuts inside and out. I just lowered my heat in an effort to maintain this 350 degree temperature. And I'm gonna pop about three of these little biscuit dough balls into the oil. I'm using my little spider strainer here, which is really handy. We're also gonna use this to fish them out at the end, but this just helps me not have to get very close to the hot oil with my fingers when I'm submerging these in. So here we go. All right, they're sizzling and floating up to the top. So we'll just let these cook for a couple minutes until they're nice and golden brown all around. My biscuit donuts cooked for about three minutes. They're nice and golden brown and I'm praying cooked through because I have been trying this for a while and some of them have been and some of them haven't. Definitely trial and error over here in my kitchen. But I'm putting them directly into a bowl of granulated sugar. That way I can douse them on all sides and that little bit of excess oil kind of makes the sugar adhere to the little bonnets here. Then I'm gonna allow these to cool for a little bit and then we'll try them out with the lemon mascarpone cream and our blueberry compote. So I put a little bit of my blueberry compote on the bottom and then one of my bonnets covered in sugar on top and then I topped it with a little swirl of my lemon mascarpone cream. And I just used a Ziploc bag. I put the mascarpone cream in there, cut off the tip, and then I could use that to pipe it right on top of my bonnet. Okay, let's see how it went recreating the Biscuit Love bonnets. Got a little blueberry sauce on there. I did it. <laughs> I nailed it. These are amazing. I'm like rejoicing on the inside because these are cooked through. You have no idea how difficult this has been for me. Please comment in the description box below if you have any tips for me for frying food. I rarely, rarely do it. My mother-in-law fries a lot. I actually gave her my deep fryer that I had because I just don't do it that often. 
and I'm wondering if the deep frying machine will maintain a more consistent heat because we tried deep frying these at 375, at 350, and everywhere in between in all different sizes and they were never coming out consistently. So the most recent batch that I did, I cut them into quarters like I showed you, rolled them into little balls, and then I kept the heat as close to 350 degrees as I could and it took about three minutes. So these are perfectly cooked through. That lemon mascarpone cream is out of this world. I think that's my favorite component of all of this. It is so light and delicate and just really kind of fancy tasting. Nice and creamy and rich, I love it. And then the blueberry compote is awesome. It kind of sat for a while just because we've been toying around with our deep frying over here. It is almost like a jam and it is so sweet and fruity and just really fresh and delicious. I am thrilled with the results and I hope you are too. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe. Thank you so much for joining me today in my kitchen for this little bone up experiment. It turned out perfect and I think you're going to absolutely love this recipe. I'll see you again soon for another family recipe.